Ahoy hoy and welcome to another r slash dank memes from site 19. If you don't know what that is, it's where I look at memes from the r slash dank memes from site 19 subreddit. These are SCP memes. Let's get started. Dr. Sumerian in his videos. Dr. Sumerian according to memes. This is... I don't... Mm. On the one hand, I am still kind of a jerk in my videos from time to time, but not as much of a jerk, I'll agree, as the uh, memes make it out to be. But I don't know. I think that's kind of funny in and of itself. You can escape death row by working for some scientists for a month. You've survived a month and earned your freedom. The scientists spray you with a weird gas. The scientists spray you with a weird gas. You can escape death row by working for some scientists for a month. Whew. Amnestics. I always wonder if amnestic abuse is going to cause long-term side effects in the human subjects. Feels like there's a story there somewhere. Someone write it. You're right about SCP-173, Doctor Sumerian. Uh, that sounds. Oh no, I, I don't. I don't believe that something is wrong with the universe. <laughs> I like this is actually the color change is actually done pretty well here. Kind of like it. Will it ever be as good as the old masters? Me trying to write my first article. <laughs> Will ever be as good as the old masters, the people that wrote the articles I read? Will ever be as good as the old masters, the people that wrote in the early days? I'm the best, the guy that wrote the 173 post. Uh, the thing is, is that whilst there is always going to be people involved in creative uh, endeavors that have anxiety as like their first emotional <laughs> response to every stimuli, there will also be guys like the last one, always, in every type of creative endeavor, who just fucking thinks that they are the best at everything. And uh, I think that's okay too. Gotta have a good mixture of types of people. But uh, the the anxious, am I good enough? People are tend to be the <laughs> tend to be the ones that uh, agonize over their uh, content a lot more. The thing is, I think what you have to come down to is it doesn't really matter if you're, <laughs> you know what I mean? Who cares if you're good or better than anybody else? Just be good enough. That's all that really matters. It's all that mattered in the beginning, and it's all that matters now. Sumerian doll that microwaves your fish, plays your video games, and verbally explains exclaims how wrong you are. $254. Zero bids. That's uh that's disappointing. When SCP-028 gifts you with knowledge of what SCP-055 is, then immediately forget it. Ooh. This really is a good story, I'm sure, in there of somebody going into SCP-028, coming out and being like, I, I didn't learn anything. And they'd be like, what do you mean you didn't learn anything? I mean, I didn't learn anything at all. And then, like, going into the long-term story of that. This is what authors think will happen when their characters break the fourth wall. This is what really happens. I was looking at this meme, and what drew my interest more than anything else is the fact that I'm not 100% sure if I've ever written anything that breaks the fourth wall like out of the 120 ish articles i've written i don't think a single one of them breaks the fourth wall i could be no that's not well it is and isn't hmm i'm sure that you know I, I, with that many articles i'm sure there's one that i broke the fourth wall with at least in a minor way there's well i'm trying to think of critical thinking is an scp that literally talks to you about how poorly the article it's in is written so there's that. It's not quite the same. It is a sort of a fourth wall break. It's not talking to the audience, though. It's still in universe. Hmm. Maybe a tale or something. Who knows? Everybody gangsta until the Omega K happens in 2020. See, this is the thing. I have yet to see a v interesting actual like update to an article. Like, based on whatever, you know, give me a date that something is supposed to happen, and then, like, when that day comes, actually update the article to make it interesting. And I've done this myself before. Created future dates, and then, like, set an article in the future. And then that future comes, because it wasn't super far ahead. 
<laughs> and uh, and then I'm like, oh, should I edit the article to make it? No, no, I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, cool. Uh, and never, not once so far, and maybe I'm wrong about this, has that ever come out as anything other than underwhelming? The best case scenario is that you get a bunch of hype going for it and people read it at the very least. But I mean, I was even disappointed by Kalinin's, and he's one of the best writers on the SCP Wiki. And even his, uh, I can't remember what article it was, but he had a countdown. And when he got the countdown hit, he started a, um, like a seven part, uh, oh, oh one article and that it was it was okay it was pretty good actually but it wasn't like so amazing that it deserved all that build up and it was, it was good enough uh, i don't know that's always the way i look at these kind of things like when you do that you're building so much anticipation that it'll never be as good as what you think as what everyone wants it to be Anyone who says their favorite articles from Series 1 has either never read an article from Series 3 to 6, is simply unable to accept that there are better SCPs than the classics, or doesn't understand that an article, article's ideas and what the object does aren't as important to an article's quality than the execution of the idea or the story that the article tells changed my mind. I, I only agree with this in part. I don't think it's necessarily always true that anyone who says that that's their favorite is 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 this is true of them. Um, a lot of people come to the SCP Wiki for different things, and there's nothing wrong with that. Saying what is good and what is bad is sort of an ob completely subjective thing. I was about to say objective. It's completely subjective. So if you sort of look at this and you're like, well, you know. Uh, series three and six is objectively better i mean like by what standard and, and 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 again it comes down to like individual articles there's a lot of individual articles in series three through six that are not that great um and yes the series one stuff definitely has a serious problem of focusing in on what an object does just like oh we've got a cool magic item or oh we've got a cool monster manual entry and that's it and then expects, and then sometimes, uh, f fortunately for the early series, uh, tales were able to make up for lackluster articles. And when we think about stuff like 682, um, <laughs> the core article might be pretty shitty, but test logs of trying to kill 682 and stories including 682 make you think better of it. So you like 682, but the actual article can still be bad. Same thing goes for Cain and Abel or uh, SCP-173 to some extent. Uh, it's the and For 173, it might be some of the surrounding media uh, rather than the actual unsized stuff because he doesn't show up in a ton of stories. He still he shows up in a few, quite a few, but not like as many as some of the other character SCPs. Uh, so I think that's part of the problem. And I think that's part of the problem of the... Uh, let's say post series three snobs uh which is still a problem if you're like only the stuff from series three and not beyond is good uh you're falling into the same trap as the people who say only series one is good uh, hate being in series two if you <laughs> there's a lot of art you know there's a lot of writers who uh, wrote most of their stuff in series two can you imagine being those people uh, <laughs> but um like the series one and series three and B from three on, I uh, do have a very different flavor to them, uh, but that's because they were written in different times. And if you don't accept that series one articles were meant to be setups for stories, whereas series three through six are basically supposed to, to support itself, then I don't think you understand the wiki as well as you think you do. Everything you say is wrong. Everything I say is wrong. Wait a second. This is so stupid. I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I get this on. A, I've had this on a few of my articles. Watch this. He's going to say, take my upvote or plus one. Take my upvote. That happens on quite a few of my articles. Uh, this is the uh, uh, this. This is terrible. And it makes me want it makes me want to uh, it makes me want to punch you in the face. Plus one. And it, it's a it's a. Funny juxtaposition that's never going to get old. You don't want to complain about it because, I mean, you're getting a plus one out of it. But at the same time, you're like, 
kind of wish she had some well sometimes it is funny sometimes it's phrased originally or it actually does seem clever but it's it's kind of devolved at this point into just the perfunctory this is terrible plus one uh some originality that would be nice anyway that's it thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please scroll down and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. Then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including probably a wizard, definitely not a scientist at $42 a month, hot-headed Canadian at $50 a month, lawful evil at $60 a month, and Vivi at $88 a month. Thank you very much for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.